you know, God's presence has always been profound and sometimes fearful experience. At Sinai, his presence was marked with tender, lightning, and thick cloud, causing the people to tremble in fear. God even proclaimed that anyone who touched the mountain will die. In the Old Testament sanctuary that God instructed Moses to build, a veil separated the two apartments, serving both as a boundary and protection from the priest when ministering in the sanctuary. Israel regarded God as holy and separate. Only the priests were allowed into the sanctuary, and only the high priest could enter the most holy place, even then only once a year. Their consequences awaited anyone who trifled with God's holiness, as seen in the faith of Nadab and Abihu, who perished by fire from God for offering unholy fire before the Lord. In sharp contrast, one of the most inspiring proclamations in the book of Hebrews is that Christians do not need to fear God's presence. In fact, the epistle repeatedly tell its readers that they can approach him with boldness. In Hebrews chapter 10, verse 20, encourage us, let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. The word translated boldness can also be rendered as confidence and assurance. So why this significant change? Why does the author encourage Christians to draw near to God while in the Old Testament exhortation people to keep their distance? The key difference lies on the transformative sacrifice of Jesus Christ. Paul explained that the sacrifice of Christ solved the sin problem and that his death and ministry has opened the way to God. Jesus, serving as our high priest, also became our veil. Through his incarnation, God pitched his tent among us and made it possible for us to behold his glory. His incarnation allowed a holy God to live among imperfect people. Because of Jesus, we can approach the throne of God boldly, without fear, confident that God will hear us and answer our petition. In Jesus, we find everything we need. By faith, we can enter the heavenly sanctuary through the new and the living way that he has inaugurated for us. So, friends, no matter how life journey has taken you, how far you think you are astray from God, come, he is ever ready to receive and bless you. And that is the good news from the most holy place. And that is the nugget. Thank you for studying. I will see you tomorrow.